Then I'm panicking because I need to get that dagger away from me, right? And then I go and do the rest of the shit. Okay? So try to work in, I mean, we're only going to do this for maybe five minutes, but with your partner, experiment, play around, try to do some things, and work from those sort of different postures. Right? You're not always going to have the comfort of being right behind your really nice, perfectly formed over. Alright? Do that. I will come around and refresh if I need that. So, uh, with this one, what we're going to do is make uh, our primary defense is going to be with our left hand. Okay, so remember with this, to start, do, you know, have your, your uh, partner do like five overhands or underhand attacks and just make, again, that sort of barring action with just your left hand. Okay, so cool, come here. So, with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have our daggers. This works best in either middle, uh, in middle fit, um, a posture. So this is again sort of just when you can put the dagger from its imaginary sheet on your back. Colton is going to oblige me by attacking me. Probably saying something about my parentage or whatever, right? So what I want to do is make this defense, right? So remember our sort of priorities from last week. First thing we want to do is stop his attack. So I've done that. I've cleared this. He's not going to be able to attack at this point. He could try to pull back and attack from the inside, and then I'll just you know, try as best as I could to stop that. But, so he attacks, I make this left hand cover, I want to grab his wrist with my thumb pointing down toward his elbow, and I want to step back and pull. And what this does is prevents him from pulling back and trying to attack me again. And as, as I get the arm straightened out, what I want to do is turn with my hips, the elbow, basically strike with my pommel right to his elbow. So if I were to actually complete this whole thing, right, um, as I come in and do it, pow, right? So from here, just imagine just breaking a bundle of celery. What you're doing is just, at the very least, hyperextending his elbow and probably breaking the joint and dislocating it. And then he won't be able to try to stab me. Okay? So I want you to do that five or six times. So afterward, right? So one of the reasons that we want to do, um, don't make a, a passive step back. Make kind of a, like a shovel step back, just to kind of get the arm pressed out. So basically what we're going to do is if he tries to pull back, right, and I'm still kind of coming up, we're going to get around behind his arm, and then you wind your dagger around to the wrist, and you do that, right? And then I can do kind of whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> and it helps if you've got a very new late partner who will just completely rack out and go to the ground. Uh, but concentrate on just that first one. We'll do a refresher when we get to the second one. So this is something that, again, be very, very, very gentle with your partner. Make sure that they're okay with what you're doing for them. Because this one's, uh, obviously, you're not ever going to complete the strike to their elbow. That shouldn't need to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, but even that kind of, that, that little tug, right, when you hit their elbow, you kind of pull, just make sure that they're kind of okay with that. Because, I mean, best case scenario, if this were real life, you'd fall in space and then um, But, but we want to make sure that you, the priority is to get the arm straight, right? And then you can kind of do that. So what I would do is turn, you know, again, make the hips into that turn and put the elbow, uh, put the palm right there. Um, and just, you know, make that sickening crunch noise. Uh, put the palm right there? Yeah, just put the right there. Uh, but yeah, so this this is a strike that Meyer uses a lot, just from from uh, the kind of the lower right opening, and it can sometimes work to you know if, he, if he's a little bit too close and I don't want to go for the elbow, I can almost strike him in the chin, right? And uh, yeah, and in fact, so uh, Dave Rawlings calls it a matchstick strike. So if you think about like striking the head of a match against something, it's nice and evocative. But anyway, left arm parry, grab the wrist with the thumb pointing to their elbow stretch their arm out with a little kind of shovel step backward, and then hip hip turn into the palm strike. Okay? Alright, good job. I always thought it was because the arm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Agency. So, Colton again, 
calls me a bad name, attacks me with a dagger, I make that first defense, right? And because he knows I'm going to try to smash the living crap out of his elbow, what he's going to do is try to pull his arm back so that he can attack me. So as I come in, right, so his arm is bent, right, because he's sort of actively resisting this, right? And because I can't really reliably break his elbow, even though I could try, what I want to do is get behind it. <laughs> and if you go really aggressively forward, or you have a very compliant partner, that happens, right? So we'll go slow again, okay? Like that, he kind of tries to pull back. And as I step forward, I bring my arm around behind his elbow. Okay, so once again, sort of come around underneath like this, bring this back around. And again, what I want to do is clinch his arm and isolate. So from here, he can try to stab me. <laughs> okay, and then I can do any number of things to get the dagger out. But basically what you want to do is, we could have just gone sticking on a walking tour. <laughs> right? Is you sort of get this elbow behind, right? And then just kind of clinch it like we had before. <laughs> and again, you have a very compliant, very helpful part of things. Does that make sense to everybody? So it's, again, like the idea is if I'm attacking, he makes that initial defense, right? Grabs my arm. And I go, oh shit, he's got my arm, and I go to pull back, right? Yeah, then he brings it around, yeah. And so again, don't worry so much about making sure it's absolutely sort of like super in control, because the idea behind that is that he's more breaking the balance and structure, right? Oh no, right? It's from here, like, if you just kept walking forward, it doesn't matter what he does with this. He's gonna bring you to ground, right? But having that clinch with the dagger kind of helps with that. And I minimal effort in carting him around, taking him to the guard post, and having him sober up. Does that make sense? Is this kind of yeah, this cool. seems to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is like, oh, shut up, I think it's up. I just got to try to kill him. Does that make sense? Yes, I will walk around and help out. Okay. I'll leave this one. I need an attack. Doesn't matter. Somebody. Just whoever's coming forward. Okay. So this time we're going to work on Mario's Kreutzmann, right? Which is the cross guard. This is the one we worked on kind of least, right? So dagger kind of laid up against your right arm. Your right arm sort of over top of your left, and cross against your chest. So this is what Power Fight would call Schlüssel, and what Mario calls Kreutzmann, just cross guard, right? So the idea behind this one, same setup. Your attacker will come and attack you over arm, toward your face and chest, and you go, right? So the response to this one is I want to step to my left side, my right foot, as I bring my dagger up to deflect this attack, okay? And then I do another hook to his elbow with my left arm. Come in like this, like that. So the footwork is a little bit more necessary in order to get that kind of hook on the arm. Um, the, the actual sort of uh, the manuscript page where this comes from is you make this and then you end up like basically like this. Right? With your arm sort of snap real tight to your chest and you've got to hold, hold and try to snap me. Right? But I can also very easily turn to my hand. But again, it's one of those things that it will work better the faster it's done. Right? So I'm here and <laughs> again. Right? It's just a, a, a really quick little step, and then you overwrap your left arm. So it's real, real, real simple. So again, think about kind of controlling that elbow just once more real slow as it comes in. This is almost unnecessary, but you want to make sure that you would just have this line closed off so that they can't see you in the face. And then the arm just goes in this way, over the elbow, tight the Okay? Does that make sense? So footwork-wise, it's a step on your right foot to your left. And then it's again, a step forward, passing, elbow to the ground. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So again, think of it like, exactly like the power fight, just shuffle defense, right? This is what I'm doing because I have a dagger in my hand, right? I can't control his arm with my right hand because I don't have a clinch 
and I don't have my, my grip, and I can't actually literally just grab his arm. So as that attack comes in, I've got to think of a different way to control the dagger arm, because that's ultimately the point of all of this, going over the top, and collapse the structure. Make sense? All right.
I would have come in and slide off. Yeah. You know, sort of like, no. I think you're so right. Try to again push your hips into it. Okay. Yes. And like make sure you're sort of punching into my hand as I push it off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's, you have to apologize. <laughs> no, I meant to do this. Nice. Sorry for the delay. Nice. In my own stomach. It's yeah, probably nice. not a great step. Sure they got I'd be off all stiff. I'd be on a. I can't remember. Do you, so you apologize. Or you said, excuse me. I'd be on a call stiff. <laughs> oh, there was fighting. You lost off. <laughs> how dare you not? Get that together. He <laughs> <laughs> asked how much beer it costs. I need beer costs. Do you cost how much? I think my points are steps, isn't it? I forget. No, I just, I don't know what. I either like punch right to the wrist or this. I gotta calibrate this better. I think that was everybody. I would, but I just want to fuck around with it. Alright, who's next? I was just trying to push people up hanging dagger. Tom Ferris is the best group in the Enterprise! Nice! Yeah, that was nice. That was real good. But then Tom Ferris was never on the Enterprise. What am I talking about? Yeah. Tom was fired by... Oh, I'm oh, dead. I've been so many times. <laughs> Covers them. <laughs> so you find against running attacks, like the left arm carries are a little bit more strong. Yeah. Ooh. Same so with underhand. You just basically did a product smaller sign thing without knowing it. So you basically yeah. come up and you do this. Yeah, I pulled that off on Keith before, it was good. That's it's fine. a real thing, it's actually been a treat. Do that again! I knew I saw confidence in the other one! I wish I could have I mean, that's entirely the idea of this. <laughs> do it again! Do it again! Remember, you don't give a shit. You live or die. <laughs> you only care about kind of the honor of your foosball team. I don't know. These hot sub foosball. These hot sub foosball.